Hey Rob, how's it going? It's Mike. I figured I'd just send you this quick little video of the Fog server. Uh, as you can see, I have Ubuntu 10.10 uh, running here. It's running in a VM in my uh, Windows 7 box. So I'll pop this back up here. And I have our 45 uh, lovely Lenovo's here in a brand new in box. I uh, took four of them out and uh, just plugged them into power, plugged them into the network. Um, I went into them real quick to set them to Pixie Boot versus uh, CD-ROM and hard drive. And it's just on a dedicated network. So once we have it actually set with DHCP on, um, on our production side, then you know we'll move this VM over to DSXI and, and have it actually running in the branches. But I'll show you what it looks like. So here is Chrome and we'll go into Fog. And this is your welcome page and home home page and users hosts. So I also went ahead and added the hosts um, here. Adding a host, you just pick a name, um, you know, whatever you want, and host IP. You just you know just run through real quick. And they start with uh, four four. So you know, test whatever you want it to be. Select one XP image, XP good to go then you'll come down here add it you can you know put in some domain information if you need to um, I'm not gonna add this because it's already added if I were to go to list all hosts it would show them all and um, then what we would do is we would set up a group um, I set up a group already and and have added these so you can see I put four members in the group so now I'm gonna go to tasks and list all groups over here it's gonna show me the group that I just set up. I'm going to deploy a multicast um, versus deploy. This will do them each as an individual machine. So basically, you know, the next time it turned on, it would it would get a machine. But since they're off and set to Pixie Boot, I can do a deploy multicast. Um, on these four machines, it would probably take eight to nine minutes to do it this way. It only takes uh, two minutes to do it multicast. So I'm going to hit multicast here. I'm going to have it shut down after the task is complete. Uh, it's kind of important um, in my mind only because once it's done booting the image, the first thing it's going to do is restart and then start loading the Windows XP image, which I don't necessarily want it to do because I want to take these out and put them where they need to go. So I'm going to have them shut down. I'm going to say image all computers and they were queued and uh, you can see it automatically started the machines and uh, let me lower the laptop here we got uh, pixie boot running and it does it automatically I didn't have to do anything the, the wake on land takes care of that and here it goes so it's loading the fog Pulling the hard drives, it'll take a second for the hard drives to settle. All right, so it is loading the image on to all four machines at once. Um, this is one of them, and looks like it'll take about three minutes. So I'll pause it here. The image is um, it's seven gigs in total, but the actual image is only about four, I'd say, four and a half, um, compressed on the server itself. So I'm gonna pause it, and we'll come back to it in just a minute. All right, so I'm back here, and you can see we got about 20 seconds left. Puts us at uh, just over what, four minutes, 10 seconds to um, throw the image onto the four machines. Um, with the uh, multicast feature uh, and this is running off just a standard laptop it uh, works pretty good 5400 rpm hard drive nothing special um, but it does does the trick all right zero seconds and uh, it's gonna clean it up it says it's restarting but I set the task to shut down so the computer is shut down all the computers have shut down and they've completed all at the same time so I'm gonna turn the top one on here and we'll see what it looks like
looks like the time on the clock is about five minutes, but you want to add, uh, of course, those three minutes when I paused it for the uh, image to transfer over, but it'll work pretty good. So there's no task, so it's just going to pass right through the, the fog pixie. And Windows XP is loading. Remember, these machines came with Windows 7, so it's going to do a check disk. Right now it's going to run the uh, syspress boot after this, and we should be all set. Now I had uh, set up my sysprep file to just ask for the computer name and um, pretty much preload everything else. So we'll see uh, see how well it worked. Okay, so we come to the sysprep part of it, and I'm just going to hit next here. You can put in a computer name, sure, whatever, Siemens. Uh, this will be the first one, so we'll just say one. I have it automatically um, flooding in the administrator password, which just makes it easier for this portion. So we'll hit next, and everything else should be automatic. It's going to register the networking components. It's going to add all the, you know, little Windows things that it does. And I'm going to pause it right here and we'll come right back to it when we log in. So here we are. I had it right, pass right over the mini setup and everything. So let me just put in the password real quick. And hopefully I typed it right. Looks like it did. Um, I had it already set up for different users um, with the user passwords in there. Um, I, I put in the, the Novell in, in 
in here, but it's it's on a flash drive right now. So, but that'll get added to the image later. The image is a work in progress, but it basically has everything that a user would need um, to get going. It's got the email. It's got you know the mm, old version of Office, but it also has all the updates. It has Adobe. Um, basically, a, a nice just clean running machine, and and it's done. Um, you know, if we were to go into I don't have a mouse set up right now. Um, here, you can see that the users are still there. They're all saved and everything is uh, is working just fine. So, hope you enjoyed. Talk to you later.